Hey guys, welcome back. Um, th today we're gonna go over the chemical spill up in Ohio. I don't where? Know as... Ohio. Oh, okay. It's, <laughs> it's just been so quiet on it. I'm sorry. I heard Ohio. <laughs> I know. I haven't. Uh, I personally have heard nothing uh, really about it. I know that the major news media isn't covering it, and the alternative hmm. media is. So, and I haven't gotten a chance to catch up with it myself. What do you know about it, Jerry? Just so that way I can even, you can maybe catch me up a little bit. Well, what I know about it is, uh, is that uh, the Biden administration had been in touch with uh, uh, the uh, governor of, of Ohio or the mayor of West uh, Palestine, which is the, the town that the train derailment took place in uh, until last Thursday, which was like about four days ago. And uh, uh, and this happened. I think I think it happened like February eighth or, or no no it was uh, beginning of February. I think it was that. I think it was, was several weeks ago. And uh, and uh, that uh, that train that derailed it had all types of toxic chemicals on it. And that's the stuff for making PVC. And there's some chlorine based. Uh, uh, chemicals in those trains, and they didn't know there was a, quite a few. I think it was maybe 17 cars went over, off the rails, and uh, which they haven't even introduced why that happened or how that happened. Not that I've heard. I mean, maybe they have sense, but uh, is that it put a cloud over uh, West Palestine, Ohio, and uh, and dogs are dying like 10 miles away, and uh, and they evacuated a. Uh, a a, a two mile radius, first a one mile radius from the train derailment, then they went out to a couple miles. And, and the government's saying, oh, well, it'll be okay. You know, don't, don't worry about it. You know, just go down to Camp Lejeune and get some water and drink that. And uh, 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 is, for those of you who haven't heard Camp Lejeune, it's got a major lawsuit, uh, Marine Corps base there because of contaminated water, which has caused cancer and a lot of things have, and a lot of the Marines and their families who were stationed there. And uh, so uh, the uh, uh, the government's putting a lid on it. Uh, the major media is, for the most part, not covering it. Interestingly enough, I heard it on, uh, quite a bit on NPR, which I was surprised. Hmm. It was uh, yeah, NPR That's in long. Vermont actually. Yeah, which I was really surprised that uh, that I that I heard that on there. But they probably figured nobody listens to them, so uh, they could put it on there and. Uh, that uh, uh, there's uh, they're having some major problems there, and I and I had heard that they had they were told that they could burn one of those types of fuel, whatever it was that uh, gases or, or liquids mm -hmm. that uh, and uh, that would that would uh, get rid of it. But then I heard that they went ahead and did that, and the EPA wasn't helping them out with it, and then they shouldn't have done it, and that even made things worse. How accurate all that information is, I'm not really sure. And uh, but uh, I know that there's a lot of problems coming from that, and they're having uh, they're worried about water contamination. They're worried about soil contamination, obviously wow. with the people who just live there with contamination. But there's if you go online, you can see a bunch of the pictures. He may show some here. A lot of the pictures, and it's this real dark cloud over this little city. And oddly enough, in 2000 and it was two years ago, I think. So I think it was 2020 or 21. They did a, a, a movie on on in that town on a train spill and contamination. Oddly enough, yeah. and they introduced this family they were talking to, who in fact were were like bit actors in this movie, and uh, uh, and because they used a lot of the townspeople in that movie, which I haven't seen the movie, but right. uh, come to find out. They were within a one mile radius of where the train went off. They go, they couldn't believe it because what what happened is exactly what uh, what was going on in that in that pretty close to exactly as uh, uh, in that in that movie that was made. Right. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this. Like and uh, like and subscribe below, guys. And here we go. Let's jump into this first story. All right. We got this from TimCast.com. Biden administration says air near derailed train and controlled chemical burn is safe. Amid concerns of water contamination, as soon as I read that headline, I could hear Luke Rudkowski screaming at the top of his <laughs> lungs all the way from Florida. Ah! Because, uh, as you know, they said the air was safe to breathe on 9-11, which it absolutely was not. And so the, the reason, in, in my opinion, they would tell you the air is safe to breathe is because they want you to go work to solve that problem. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, I get it. 
you got a problem. If nobody wants to go and work to put the fire out and stop the chemical spill, then it keeps getting worse. But you're not going to convince someone to go do it if you tell them the truth about how toxic the air is. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources reports the 3,500 fish in the area have died since the derailment. Wow. Photos of a... Ha- Actually, I think I have a photo right here. Is this... Uh, do I have the photo? Okay, here's the radius. the radius. Say their name. Uh, Wall Street Silver oh, says the cloud radius of the chemical burn in Ohio is huge. Yep, we're in it. Because uh, most of you know we're in the uh, uh, we're in Western Maryland, West Virginia. That's so giant. we're 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 absolutely getting hit by this. And I think I think we have yeah. a picture of this. this. Is Spike Cohen? There it is. Check it out. I am infinitely more concerned with the raging chemical fire in East Palestine. Is it East Palestine? Is East, that what it is? Yeah. I thought yeah. it was yeah. West. Oh, wow. Uh, then I am with the NORAD playing whack a mole with balloons. You know, I'm I'm deeply concerned about this toxic plume of of, of chemical gas and, and this particulates. Is, this is the controlled burn. They did this on purpose. Are you for yeah. real? I'm being totally serious they because this initially on, this yeah. this yeah, train it's got a uh, hundred cars, hundred plus, oh and fifty God. of them derailed, and they caught fire, and a half mile of this town was just on fire. Whoa! And then they were like, "Well, it turns out we've got a lot of chemicals on here, and so we need to do something about that, or else they'll, they'll pressurize and explode, and we'll send send shrapnel <laughs> everywhere." So the best thing we can do is have a controlled burn this is interesting because how can the environmental protection agency tell you the air is clean when they haven't released the full list of chemicals that were on board these cars they also one of them i believe it's a uh, vinyl chloride can settle yep. on surfaces and you have to clean it because it's colorless you don't know it's wow. there unless you test for Didn't, it you Great. know it's funny hearing the wow. story after joe biden just talked about toxic burn pits in, mm. in the state of the union mm-hmm. address you know and his son and cancer and all that stuff and it's just like this sounds this sounds like it's a lot worse than that. This sounds no, for really, real. really bad. But don't Absolutely. worry, they lifted the evacuation order, so everyone should go back oh. to their houses here. Wait, well, wait. It was the CIA. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> what is that map? Is it the water table? Yeah, so I have a picture I of the a Ohio the Water Basin Aquifer. And so this, I find this really interesting. So you showed the radius of like yeah. basically as the air flows, but this is as um, water travels through the Ohio River, which uh, a couple different cities are starting to pick up that there are actually chemicals in the water there. It flows basically from Pennsylvania through West Virginia all the way through Tennessee and Kentucky. This is interesting to me. Uh, I'm not going to go conspiracy here, but this is a region I have been introduced to as Pennsylvania, which overwhelmingly supported Donald Trump. It also has a lot of poverty and uh, not a lot of great health care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so it's interesting that as the water becomes contaminated, it's in this specific region of the country. Again, coincidental. It's where the train derailed. But well, it's just it, it, it's giving me Flint, Michigan vibes. It's giving me you Flint, know. Michigan, and CDC vibes too. Yeah. You know, like this. The if the if the uh, it's giving me government you, uh, Chernobyl, exactly. Ukraine. Well, there's also vibes. like there's also. I'm wondering um, if Warren Buffett owned that railroad. Kids are taking a TikTok. You know, and they were telling us how safe it was to shut to use the train to ship oil and shut down the pipe, Keystone Pipeline, and that they have right. no food and no How's resources. How's that working the out? Red Cross has not shown up, mm-hmm. and that the churches and the restaurants are feeding the refuge the the refugees of. East Palestine, Ohio. We we have this very low res photo of the water basin. Oh my God, the Ohio River water. The good news is, you know, we're right here, so we're we're our drinking water is okay. Just but dude. that wind, so the the accident's right up here. The wind is all pouring right over us. We are mm. smack dab right in the right on the on the right side, eastern side of this thing. And we don't. And there's no. There's only one chemical listed that they know. Of they no, there's a bunch. They four at this point, but they yeah. don't. They haven't released a complete yeah. list. Oh, okay. Well, Newsweek says full list of toxic chemicals released from the Ohio train derailment. So uh, this is after I published that. What is what is this? Phosgene used during World War One. What is this? Phosgene. The, yeah. That's the chemicals the were diverted into a trench and burnt off. Officials right. warned, however, that it would send toxic gases, phosgene used during World War One and hydrogen chloride into the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Environmental regulators have been monitoring the air and drinking water around the site for, of, of the derailment and have so far said both remain unaffected by the spill. Yeah, I don't believe them. How can that be true when uh, the water The fish are all dead? Yeah, the fish are dead and, and the water management well, of Cincinnati. There are dead birds everywhere, too. Right. There are dead, dead ravens. birds? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's people reporting so those, like... The birds are just no, the CDC is already here, buddy, coming out. Out. The efficacy well, rating also, is no if it's safe, <laughs> My thing is, if it's safe, why isn't Biden visiting? Why isn't Kamala visiting? Right? What was, what was, Every time we have a natural disaster, one the of fact these that two people no, walks through. There, the fact that there's no significant reaction from the, the government blows my mind. They it don't want to talk about it. What do you mean? I'm surprised. They're usually at least trying to get in and, and have... I mean, they're arresting... Auto uh, 
uh, the press, right? Yeah, they, they were, a journalist, a reporter got arrested yeah, so for they were, yelling. I what? mean, they're trying to, to cut, they're trying to do everything they can to, to wow. keep it quiet. Usually they would, I imagine, they would try to get people on the ground to uh, do the I, keeping of quiet. I, 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 just, I disagree one that, cabinet member, that, right? that feels more like a movie response. Maybe. Like I mean, we watch movies and the government comes in with FEMA and all that stuff, but in reality, we, we, we learn about the, the corroding pipes in Flint and literally nothing happens for five years or whatever. Mm. They're just like, oh, geez, would you look at that? And then nothing happens. I see. I feel like the stuff with 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 Flint and the stuff that's going on in Alabama, those are municipal those are municipal problems. Those are problems that the the local governments uh, failed to provide for their. Who their regulates the railway? Yeah, um, I guess this would be like Buttigieg right. jurisdiction, right? I, well, Inter, I mean, interstate commerce and transport. Absolutely, that's it would exactly be. Right. It would fall to the the interstate transportation commerce. department. Um, it was Buttigieg, yeah. huh? I, you know, I haven't heard him comment on it at we, all. We, 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 we get President Biden, and, and he tells us we're going to get a Buttigieg. You know, we all say okay, and then what, huh? He's, he's too busy. Train blows up. He's I too mean, busy, you know, giving his, his, you know, feeding his new baby. I mean, he's taking time off so they can. Zoom is great to, yeah. to interact on a call. But when it comes to doing podcasts. Let me get this ad out of the way. Dad. I could be wrong here, right? But I Probably haven't even seen a Biden. Our prayers are with the people of East Palestine who are affected by this. I haven't seen anything. Nothing. I mean, that's pretty cold. I thought they liked Palestinians. This chemical train (laughs) is derailed and we're going to burn it and you guys just hang tight and we'll see what happens. I mean, it it is America the the lack of response should tell everyone in Ohio what the Biden administration thinks of their safety right now. We have two super chats. One says I live 10 minutes away from it and it's not great, but not catastrophic. And someone else said boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion. Very bad. 1001 ratio. So, you know, it's, we'll, we'll put it in the middle. We'll say it's like moderately catastrophic, but not apocalyptic. There was a fire chief <laughs> in the area who responded to this. Years. He said everyone should go to the doctor right. and get a record of their health right now because mm-hmm. it's the question of the long-term effects, oh, right? wow. So maybe you're okay, you can go back to your house, but if you develop cancer or liver cancer specifically or leukemia or some of the other things, like and Asian you orange. need to be able to look back and say, mm-hmm. was this because, did I have yeah. markers already or was this years. because of what I was exposed okay, to? Okay, yep. so here we have a list from Newsweek of what contaminated the air, soil, and water surrounding the crash sites. Vinyl chloride, a colorless gas that is used to make polyvinyl chloride, PVC. It's uh, what we start plumbing. Uh, plastics, and it's highly flammable. Really? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And decomposes to make toxic fumes. Okay, didn't know that either. According to the National Library of Medicine, it is also carcinogenic and can cause other health issues. Shocker. Butyl acrylate, a clear liquid that is used for making paints, sealants, and adhesives. It is flammable and can cause skin, eye, and respiratory irritation. Ethyl hexyl acrylate, a colorless liquid used to make paints and plastics. It also causes skin and respiratory irritation, and under moderate heat can produce a hazardous vapor. And ethylene glycol like monobutyl, a, a colorless liquid used in the solvent for paints and inks, as well as some dry cleaning solutions. It is classed as acutely toxic, able to cause serious or permanent injury, highly flammable. Vapors can irritate the eyes and nose, and ingestion can cause headaches and vomiting. Mm. And I'm pretty sure ethylene glycol is antifreeze. Is antifreeze? Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, yeah. So I don't know what monobutyl me- don't means, but I'm it. pretty sure you don't want to ingest or inhale anything related to antifreeze. I mean, Although I guess technically propylene glycol is an antifreezing agent they use. We used to use those on the airplanes back at O'Hare. And, uh, you know, they say it's fine, but I would not recommend. Like, they, we got crazy stories in the airport. One guy told a story about how a guy in a cherry picker, you drive around in these trucks with a, with a big hose that would spray propylene glycol. And he once saw his buddy and he was like, hey, and he yelled at him and then blasted him with this fire hose of this orange goo. Why do women drenching. live longer? We just don't know. Yeah, no, the, the, the <laughs> answers elude us, you know, the men doing the science and research. But uh, yeah, so it sounds like any phrases, they can blast it up into the air, too. So, you know, that's 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 Wait, you know, what happened to the guy who got blasted. He was fine. Oh. I mean, I don't know. It's been 20 years. Maybe he's, he's he's got cancer. Cool. I'm, I'm like yeah. hanging on. I'm like, what happened to him? <laughs> Nothing. And he just keeps he got going. drenched and then got angry and yelled at his buddy. Okay. All right, well. I thought that was good. You get you didn't have to wear a coat in the winter the, anymore. In the cherry picker, de-icing these <laughs> right. planes. You spray it down yeah. with a with a 50-50 solution that's propylene glycol water and it's hot. All right. They're spiraling. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, our job. Yeah, that's our job to spiral. Yeah. Interesting. Can you imagine? Why aren't they handing out the face mask for COVID to everybody there? I know, right? I mean, I it think, can protect you can... from breathing in those fumes. Right? And where's the EPA? Let me tell you something. You drop a 50-gallon drum. I've, I've seen guys who are, who are convicted of, of, of poor dumping 50-gallon drums of oil, waste oil or whatever. They got snagged. The EPA went after them. Find the hell out and threw them in prison. 
in, in this that's going on, you know, and they're, they're, I mean, again, if you have an oil spill, New England, we use, a, a, there's a lot of heating oil and they have these big tanks, typically in your basement, sometimes outside, but in the winter, you have to mix it with half with kerosene, otherwise it'll freeze. Right. You know, but if your tank leaks in your basement, it's a major operation because it's all EPA regulated on how to clean it up and uh, buy, buy an old gas station. Right, and you got to get that chem- all that all that you know that that super fun cleanup job going on. In this, they're acting like, eh, no, nothing, nothing yeah. to see here. Don't worry about it. You know, Warren Buffett's trains are fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. You know, it's, uh, but you don't. You, yeah, but you can't be having that damn Keystone Pipeline because they're dangerous. Get on the train. <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And the thing is, is in 10 years, the Dateline will go over there if that show's even still on. Then they'll, they'll visit with the, with the residents who still live there because after that that uh, uh, train derailment, you know, they'll have mm-hmm. growths all over. Or, oh, no, so they're all dead. And, uh, you know, that'll be the attention it gets. Right. Uh, you know, because the governments are they're made up of liars. I mean, they put tax stamps on cigarettes. Still today, on packs of cigarettes, and they sue the tobacco industry for for those things being toxic. But they but they charge a tax, and they don't stop them from selling them. And uh, uh, I mean, everybody's got their choice what they're going to do. But I mean, that's how much the government really cares. Agent Orange in Vietnam sprayed this stuff all over our troops on the on the, yeah. on all the plant life out there. And you walk through, you get it on you, guys. I know a lot of guys. Or who have died or, or dying or got cancer and died and uh, from that. And the government's just settling up some of that stuff. The water in, in, uh, at, uh, uh, down at uh, Camp Lejeune, uh, mm-hmm. Marine Flint, Corps Michigan. base down there. Yeah, Flint, Michigan. And, uh, you know, that got more attention because there were a lot of blacks that lived there. And, yeah. uh, and there was protests about that. And the blacks were right. It's like, hey, you know, even though this is a low-income area, I think Flint, yep. Michigan is probably – and uh, and uh, and it deserved attention, but he they were right on the on on their talk, and you know that's more of a of a local matter, you know, not so much a federal matter, right? And uh, but uh, uh, because they weren't taking care of the pipes and such, but uh, uh, our our government is they don't want to be responsible for anything, and uh, so they just kill it, and then the media goes along with them, and that's right. really. But I mean, how do you trust them? How do you trust any of them? I mean, if, if if you believe what they say about each other, even in the opposing parties, they all should be in prison. Yep. <laughs> all right, guys. Stop. Well, uh, I guess we'll kind of keep an eye on this one, see where it goes, add it to the list of things to watch out for. And if you like, uh, if you like it, uh, like and subscribe, comment down below, and see you guys on the next one. Super fine.